a lot of unexpected things are happening right now in the Pet Simulator 99 market. And today, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. In my last video, I warned you that this would be your last chance to buy before the big inflation comes. And it seems like my recommendation came a little too early. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why that actually happened. And then basically just give you an update on what is happening right now in the market. And why now is actually probably your last chance to buy before the inflation begins. And this time I actually have more proof on why that's going to happen. And I'm actually seeing signals happening in the market at this very moment. If you have any day by day questions, we can answer those in our discord where we do daily giveaways and have a helpful team that can inform you of what is happening in the market. And you can engage in conversations about various stuff related to the game. I'd love it if you guys joined. If you like this type of content, we've turned this into a regular series on the channel. So make sure you are subscribed and you like the video. Let's get right into it. Things could be changing real fast. All right. So first of all, let's just talk about my recommendation from last video and whether or not I was really wrong about that prediction. I told you guys that in that last moment, right before the happy computer event ended, was your last chance to invest your diamonds into those huges before inflation starts to go crazy. Unexpectedly, obviously, we actually ended up getting a period of deflation after the event ended, which was a big surprise to me, obviously. As I went out, I bought a ridiculous amount of huges, as you guys can see. And funny enough, this is just my trading account, so this isn't even what I'm grinding with. These are literally, if you go back to those videos and look at how many huges I had in my inventory at the time, it was a lot less than this. So pretty much almost all of these came from me investing off that advice that I gave you. The only reason I point this out is just to show that I follow this advice that I give and I actually do the things that I'm telling you guys to do in the videos. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. At the end of the day, any market is just influenced by the people that are buying and selling. So obviously that day after the event ended, some people began panic selling, which caused other people to panic sell. You guys basically understand how this works now in Petsum. People basically just follow what others are doing, which ended up leading to a period of deflation, which is pretty much the only explanation for what we've seen since the event ended. I can't 100% predict things because this is all just led by emotions and that's why I push my discord so heavily because it really it is the fastest way that I can get this information out to you guys. It's too hard to push out a video quick enough for how fast the market can turn sometimes. That's why the discord is really so valuable because I could tell you like right in the moment what I'm seeing. My last video was kind of different compared to my regular videos because in that video I was giving you a recommendation for basically the future. And normally these market analysis videos are about what is happening that day or what I see happening in that moment in the market. I did mention in the video that we could see a period of deflation again before the event was over. And that basically ended up being true. I could have prefaced it better by saying that anything could really happen in the next few days because the market is just led by emotion and whatever people are doing at that moment. But on that note, now is actually a time when I see prices beginning to stabilize for the happy computer and the happy rock, which is basically usually the indication that we're going to see an inflation period. So this is more like my regular videos where I'm actually giving you advice on what I'm seeing in the market at this very moment. It's currently 2 p.m. Eastern, so I think it's likely that we do see a wrap value increase by the, the 4 p.m. Eastern wrap update. So I think if that happens, we could definitely see that inflation that I was talking about in the previous video start to take place. Because we've seen this period of deflation right before it, I'm assuming this is just going to fuel the fire and cause the inflation to be even more dramatic. If by 4 p.m. Eastern we see a wrap update with an increase of 100k or more, I'm going to guess that we're going to see another wrap increase the next update at 8 p.m. Eastern of 300k wrap or more, and then it's just going to increase from there. So I'm actually predicting this inflation because of these trends that I'm seeing in the market of the prices beginning to stabilize, but it is still dependent on whether or not the wrap update actually increases the wrap price of these huges or not. Because that's usually the point in which people actually realize prices are beginning to increase. And that's when they actually start panic buying. 
Another reason I still think this inflation is going to happen are because of those other reasons that I mentioned in the last videos. Basically, just people are making so much more diamonds right now than they were in the last update. People are definitely going to be able to afford these huges more than they were back then because they're making so much more diamonds. And everybody that has super drop is making a lot of diamonds on the drops that they're getting. So all of this combined will most likely lead us to see a big period of inflation once again. Especially after a period of deflation, we often see a much stronger period of inflation. So that's my prediction. Nothing's changed from the last few videos. I was wrong in my prediction, but I think I was only wrong about the time frame in which it would happen. Because I thought the inflation would happen right when the event ended. But clearly we didn't see that. So my bad about that. Now there isn't much to talk about regarding items if you were going to invest i think it'd be the perfect time to buy these the huge happy computers are selling for like 800k more so honestly i i would just stick with the happy computers for now until the happy rock actually gets closer in price with the happy computer and then i would start buying more of the happy rocks if inflation does begin to hit really hard remember that the happy computer and the happy rock will most likely s surpass the prices of stuff like the peacock the huge goblin, as well as the colorful slime, usually get surpassed by those cheap huges because they're trading a lot more. So the inflation actually catches up to them. So if we do see the price of the happy computer and the happy rock actually pass any of those three huges that I just showed, you should definitely be investing in those because those prices are, are going to end up catching back up to the happy computer and the happy rock. So that's just why it's a good investment for that. Egg wise, the emoji egg is still really underpriced compared to the fruit egg and the Valentine's egg. If you do like investing in eggs, I would definitely go with the emoji egg. It does turn out that you get a major boost to your egg opening mastery by opening these exclusive eggs, which I didn't realize until like late last night. So that is another factor on why you might want to invest in these eggs. But personally, I just don't know the market well enough, so I don't personally invest in these, but I know a lot of you guys do like to buy them. So that would be my recommendation because usually the emoji egg, the fruit egg, and the Valentine's egg are around the same price and the emoji egg still has some catching up to do so that's why i think this would be a good investment of the three we are actually beginning to see these glittering charms rise in price i'm not sure exactly why that is i haven't heard anything about a buff for these but as you guys know i've been holding a lot of these personally because i invested before the update when they were about a million and then i opened a bunch of them in my 2500 charm stone opening so i've kept all of those so these increasing in price is really good I assume it's just because of how cheap these chisels and the hammers have become. It just basically makes most of these charms just so much more useful now. The royalty charm has actually gone down in price. I'm not exactly sure why that is. And the overload charm is pretty much getting around the same price. I'm not really sure what to think about them. I can't personally recommend you invest in these at this point. And then probably the last thing we should talk about is the chest mimic. We saw a dramatic fall in the chest mimic wrap value from 213 all the way down to 161 million and it's now shot back up to 196 million it seems to me like somebody was manipulating the price of this to bring it down when we were looking in the market we couldn't find a single one for even close to 161 million somebody was probably just trying to bring it down so they could snipe a few of them before the price went back up so we could probably expect to see this again at around 210 million in the next wrap update as things begin to bounce up to normal and then nothing's really changed with these other enchants, so I don't really have anything to recommend to you. This boss chest mimic is at kind of the highest price we've seen in a while for it. But honestly, I still think it's a great enchant. I personally don't think it's overvalued. And finally, one last thing, if you are looking for a big upgrade to your team, make sure you're getting these shiny huges over the rainbow huges. I have a video coming out later today on what stat pets you should have, as well as what's the damage differences between all of these huges. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you check the channel later on tonight, because this is probably going to be the cheapest shiny that you're going to find in a while. So if you are looking to upgrade some of your regular huges to shiny, this is probably the time because I don't think you're going to find a shiny huge for this cheap for a long time. But overall, that's basically it. I don't want to yap too much longer. I actually need to get this video out to you guys before the wrap updates. So thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure you join the Discord. Again, that's just where I can give you the most up-to-date information. You can also find some of these resources that I use like Excel sheets and stuff. And that's where I've moved all of our giveaways to. 
thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.